Yeah. It's happening. Stray Kids New Era. Haciendo para todos los bailadores con esta rola que dice. Un, dos, tres, cuatro. Stray Kids is dropping a whole new full length album on June 2nd. They released the trailer yesterday, and let's dissect it like always. Oh, and is anyone planning on getting the album? <laughs> so anyways, let's get into the video. Reminder, this is just a theory and my opinion. So do drop down your own theories in the comments. First off, the visuals. They knew what they were doing. I want to go on, but yeah, you wouldn't want that. Anyways, firstly, let's talk about how this trailer has so many parallels to their old trailers. Stray Kids usually do that, yes. But this time, we got parallels from really old content too. From Blueprint. No easy. Maxident. Give me your TMI. God's menu, of course. The sound. Case 143 and Maniac. Be me. Freeze. If you're familiar with the lore, you'll know that the kids have clones. And with the parallels that were in this trailer, I feel like this era could be the culmination of the Skacia's clone lore. So maybe, just maybe, this new era could be the introduction to the other Stray Kids. Their clone selves, in Yellow Wood, they split and there were two sets of Stray Kids fighting each other. Is this the other set? And to further confirm this point, is Sung Min holding the Yellow Wood ticket here? And Sung Min is so hot in this trailer, I need to sedate and I'm still in a 50-50 decision. If this could be the continuation of the Untrilogy. One of my subscribers was talking about some posters they found in the trailer, and I was confused at first. Thinking posters? Where? After re-watching the trailer concerning amount of times, I realized why I didn't find it the first 150 times. I was too busy looking at that green, shiny wall at the back. <laughs> So posters. I could be wrong, but this poster says, forever, everything in this world. With the word, world, overlapping on the poster, which could mean the four worlds possibly from each of the four I'm album series overlapping in time and space. I'm not, I'm who, I'm you, and I'm ground. If you were planning on saying I'm Groot in the comments, I will personally block you. Anyways, the reason why I'm unsure of this is, because the original three of the trilogy could be standing together, and I Am Ground can be something separate, because the album name is actually, Five Star, not I Am Ground. Five Star is a direct reference to Felix's God's Menu lyric. A Michelin's maximum rating is three stars, but Stray Kids used five to say that they were more than maximum, and by titling the comeback Five Star, they're acknowledging that they are better than the best. Fourth Gen Leaders. I heard that I Am Ground was actually an introduction game. Like I said before, this can be connected to the I Am series. And the parallels I said before could be references to their past albums, concepts, and themes. The I'm Trilogy was about how the kids were unsure about who they were. They were still discovering themselves and finding their path in the world. But now, with I'm Ground, they finally know who they are, so they're ready to introduce themselves again with this comeback. I am Ground. It could also represent their evolution in the band, like how the industry gave them personalities to follow, and they ended up being themselves, 
fighting against the stereotypes. There's a theme of rebellion through the whole trailer which shows how they're making their own rules in the world because they're now more confident and fearless. They're doing what they want to do, not what they're told to do because they finally know who they are and what they want. I think it's safe to say, Stray Kids are officially in their rebellion era. If we see I.N. scene, his angel wings only align perfectly when he's in the museum display. This is commentary on idol culture and how we always put them on a pedestal and hold them to perfect standards while we watch and criticize them. But they're not sculptures in museums, they're humans. To show this fact strongly, he breaks free from there and destroys the exhibit. He was held to perfect standards. He was supposed to be a, a perfect idol. But he's not. He's I.N., which is how he introduces himself, and he comes with his imperfections and quirks, which he's now not afraid to show off. Moving to Changbin's scene. It's similar to Han's umbrella scene in Maxident, another parallel. He introduces himself as romantic, and so is romanticizing life with his fake sprinkler rain, the cheesy BGM, and the beaten umbrella, but that isn't how life is. Hyunjin mentions the number 644. It is an angel number. It's a sign that you shouldn't think too much and take risks. Do what you want to do, even if it's scary, because you may not have that chance again. This is exactly what Hyunjin did. He painted a perfectly fine black blazer with red. And this red stroke is also from Maxident. It could just be another parallel, but it feels like a big statement, to be honest. I mean, I'm no artist. But it sure takes a lot of courage to paint a stroke so confidently, especially over a finished artwork. Which brings me to this avant-garde poster in the trailer. The concept of that is to experiment with art, and for Stray Kids that's with their music. It shows that they're not playing it safe, and they're definitely not afraid to try new things. <laughs> this scene, they said, only cars allowed, so Sung Min went and bought a giant crane instead, and the way he mocks them with his ticket, and as he goes and drowning in popcorn, and him saying looks like I win, and laughing because bro beat the system. This scene is again a throwback to God's menu, construction vehicles equals referring to their construction noise music. It also just shows how the kids are always different. They always stand out, because they're not afraid to break the rules a little, and that's why they have the most fun. And that's why their music slaps, but the antis aren't ready to listen to that conversation. Their loss, I guess. Moving on to Felix, our main character in the Stray Kids lore. Felix as conductor, him with a lollipop, playing around in traffic, it shows his playful nature even while working. It's almost childish, which is basically Stray Kids at the end of the day. And the constant honking sounds like haters, how people will always keep saying things, criticizing them for just having fun, but hello, they don't care. They can keep honking and wasting their fuel, but 3 Ra Cha will always keep making amazing music, they'll have fun, and they'll slay. Moving on to Bang Chan's scene, the metronome, the time bomb, and the ticking clocks we saw, could be showing the pressure that he puts himself under to be constantly working. Notice how he himself sets this bomb, though. With Chan constantly being under the spotlight, the pressure makes him more and more agitated, and he goes out of control. He doesn't want to play to the perfect beat metronome, he wants to make his own beats, go at his own pace, his own sound, and be free from the pressure. And so it ends with the pianos burning, because he's burnt out from it all. Also the way he asks, what? After he bowed, as if he's questioning us, who are you to judge me? Who are you to tell me what to do? Or like, yeah, I just did that. What are you going to do about it, bitch? <laughs> Finally, Lino. Lino was very sus through the whole thing. It's so funny that he introduces himself as, I'm cute, referring to his hashtag Lino, is cute, while lugging out a, he's lugging out a, uh, sir. <laughs> Lino.
Lino, what you got there in that luggage, buddy? Moving on. To sum up what I said at the start, this era is Stray Kids, who have found themselves. Their previous albums represent their journey as artists and people when they were still growing and discovering their purpose and place in this world. And now they've found it. Five Star could be an album that serves tribute to their past selves who were astray. This is also their fifth year, so it kinda makes sense. And another cool thing in this trailer is they're walking sideways on this building. Help? And, yeah, that's my two cents on this new era. Hopefully it made sense. If you made it till here, thank you so much. Let's enjoy whatever the boys have prepared for us. Make sure you pre-order and pre-save the album. Bye! Bye.